clubs today is going to be the most dangerous thing I think I've ever done. Should be interesting. Take a second and uh, explain why this is going to be so terrifying. This is a Honda CRF 50. That's right, 50. 48 cc's, 49 cc's, I believe. Uh, rotary shift, no clutch, no nothing. I exceed the weight limit for this bike. I'm not actually 100% sure this is legal. On this, on roads with traffic, is going to be terrifying. So to put this in a little bit of perspective for you, this is the size difference between me and the CRF 50. Yeah. Hopefully this goes well. I have to be honest, I've actually been more afraid of doing this than riding cross country. We'll see how it goes. I know I'm like standing here really awkwardly. I'm genuinely scared. I'm gonna get the camera off of my truck. I'm gonna get it onto this, or rather onto me, and uh, we'll pick this up in a minute. I'm now on the bike, a little bit more so than I was, and this thing is horribly unstable. It was never meant to have somebody like me on it. So this is a child's bike. And actually recently, if you, uh, if you follow uh, Moto Girl Vlogs, you would have seen that she rode something very similar to this. I can say personally, I have met Moto Girl Vlogs and I know she's, she's not as, as large as I am. So a couple of things. This thing has no headlight, no brake light. I have no rear view mirrors, so I have no idea what's coming up behind me. I'm much smaller than anything anybody's accustomed to seeing on the road. And thus it puts me in a very scary and dangerous position, which is why I say this is the scariest thing I've ever done on a motorcycle. Now, those of you who watch my channel, you know I ride a CBR 1000. I've got no problem jumping on a thing going four or 500 miles in a day. No issues. This, if you can see how much I'm wobbling about, like my knee is nearly in the, in the road. So I'm having to be very careful here. The route I've chosen is also gonna take me up some hills. Like this, this is really scary. Do you see me? Thank you. I'm going full throttle. I don't even know if it's going to make it up the hill. Oh, no wave? Weak. I am 6'4", and I am about 220, 225-ish pounds. And strangely enough, this thing is actually handling me, handling my weight and everything pretty well. I'm just kind of out on a road that's not super busy because I wanted to test and see if this would even work. Uh, just so you know, I'm trying to go up this minuscule hill. I am completely full throttle right now, and this thing is barely lugging my weight up the hill. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! Oh! Oh! Okay, it wasn't as bad as it was going to be. <laughs> so I have to say, uh, people who ride motorcycles, like those, those of us who ride motorcycles, like I've said before, like we always try to work up to getting the biggest. Everybody's like, oh, I want a leader bike, or I want a 1290, whatever big bike there may be. I have more fun doing something like this than I ever do on my thousand no joke this is so much more fun because it's terrifying it's terrifying in such a small tiny little way okay so this is the part i hadn't really thought out is i now have to change lanes and turn around because i'm running out of bike lane basically so see if i can do that yes okay now i gotta get up some speed to get back up this hill because i just lost all my speed i'm smiling more right now than i possibly have in <laughs> very long time the looks i'm getting for people too it's great i have not seen a police officer yet unfortunately people are being very kind to me and actually letting me get by thank you from what i'm experiencing people are actually seeing me on this more than they are my my cbr 1000 it could be because this is red my thousand's black oh my gosh it sounds like it's gonna explode the downhill the speed <laughs> So I guess I should explain, I believe this is completely legal uh, due to some very strange ways that laws here are written. It's less than 50 cc's, so it doesn't have to be registered. It's not road legal, so it can't be ridden on the road, but it can legally be ridden as far to the right of the road as possible. That person, the person's like VRing in the car. I basically never have to stop. I'm pegged completely, constantly, all the time. <laughs> so people that got Groms and Z125s and you wanted like a tiny bike, this is a tiny bike. My plan was just to go down there, 
and uh, go back to my truck, which is a distance of not very far. But this is going so well that I actually want to continue on if I can make it up this hill. Stay, truck. Stay. Stay. Please stay. Please stay. Stay. Oh my gosh, it's terrifying. Okay. I guess I should also say too, like I'm, with me being 6'4 and everything, I'm not used to being this small. Like when I'm sitting on the couch, I'm not even this low. Oh no. The hill is steeper going back this way. No, you can do it. Come on, little bike. Come on, tiny little Honda. I should say, actually, uh, a thank you to my panda parents. We should call them Mama and Papa Panda. These actually belong to them. And they have two of these, this one, another one. And they were actually kind enough to let me borrow one. Uh, just to come out and do this. So, Panda Parents, thank you very much. I made it up the hill! I made it up the hill! So, the thing is, knowing that this is kind of not the most legal, I don't know how long I want to push it, but I do want to see kind of how long I can get away with this, almost. I'm honestly having the time of my life, Interwebs. Like, you have no idea how much fun this is. Check me out, dude. I've gotten so comfortable I'm going one-handed. What? One-handed. Yeah, I gotta watch my knee. It's in the road. My knee's in the road. Don't hit my knee! Don't hit my knee! Ah! I'm turning. Uh, the brakes do not do a good job of stopping with me on it. <laughs> oh, check out the geese! A little bit of a nature documentary interwebs. Gonna watch the geese just meander across the road. They got nowhere to be. This is a thing up here. People are so used to stopping for the geese. They just kind of do their own thing. They like meander barely out of the road when they feel like it. Oh, that's another thing too, I have no horn. Oh, I can't keep up! I can't keep up! Dude, this is so much fun because it's bringing so much joy to everybody else. Interwebs, as it's a tradition. Oh, Never fails. <laughs> so this is actually fun just because it's bringing so much joy to other people. It's kind of hilarious, actually, because people are just pulling up and taking pictures and stuff. To be honest, I would too. I've never seen anybody do this. Oh, that did not feel good. So this is one of the busiest roads, but it also has the biggest shoulder. So I'm just going to stay really far to the right and hope for the best here. What's shocking is the amount of people that don't even notice. That is what's actually genuinely kind of funny. I'm giving it all she's got, Coppin! Like on a road like this, if you want to make a left-hand turn, it's it's very interesting how you have to do it. You can't legally make one, so in order to make a left-hand turn, I have to make a right-hand turn and then a U-turn, and then go straight. Speed run! Yeah. <laughs> this is not working out very well. Oh my gosh, interwebs, you want to have a good time. Ah, I'm turning. Hand signals, legal. See kids, this is why it's important to learn hand signals when you're young. Just in case you ever want to do something this stupid. When I first started out, I thought this was like unbelievably dangerous, but just seeing how happy it makes other people and how much people notice because it's just so uncommon. It actually feel almost safer on this than, <laughs> than I typically do. Now I'll make my way carefully back to my truck. Okay, so it's actually nearly lunch, and I am once again heading back towards my truck on the busiest road in town. It's not quite lunch time, which is good. Um, it's a little bit before. <clears throat> what up, sign waiver guy? Wow, this guy is... I have no words for the uh, sign spinner guy. Oh, I got passed by the Prius again. Even when I could get off the lights quicker. Still not enough. <laughs> Interwebs, this is legitimately the most fun I've had in a long, long time. Just seeing the smiles on people's faces as they go by, seeing this ridiculous sight of an ape on a tricycle. See, of course, Subaru driver, they don't even care. It looks like, yeah, whatever. Please don't hit me. Ah! Okay, Interwebs, traffic is picking up and I am scared. And I can't see anything behind me. Interwebs, I made it! Nearly. Kind of. I don't actually know the best way of going about this. This is me, hand signaling to turn. And then I've got to turn around. No wave? That's messed up. Okay, this is getting scary. Okay. Okay, I'm you turning. I'm you turning. Interwebs, I really hope this is coming out 
uh, exactly how terrifying this is, but it is so much fun. Really narrow lane. I think I'm gonna actually have to be in the road here. Trying to get it rolling, nobody's moving. There we go. Oh, I almost made it. Oh, I just died. No! So yeah, that's another thing too, it's a carbureted kickstart. Try to stay out of everybody's way. Vroom! Vroom! I am in top gear. This goes no faster than this. Don't have me! That terrifying journey is done. I will honestly, hopefully do everything I can to do this again, actually. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. So yeah, I will hopefully uh, do everything I can to do this again. Anybody wondering, anytime I'm talking about the gaps that people leave in traffic that I could parallel park my truck in, um, that's the truck I'm talking about. That's my truck. So, in case you're wondering, that's my other form of transportation. Uh, with my dirty truck here, I'm going to say that, <laughs> that uh, terrifying task is done. I'm going to leave this at that. So interwebs, uh, until next time, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you like the content I'm putting out there, definitely smash that like button. Let me know. Show me a little bit of love. Subscribe if you have not yet already. Uh, I do come out with new videos all the time, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So there's always new stuff coming out. Ladies and gentlemen, until next time, thank you very much for watching. Bye.